Good morning. At this time, to honor America, we ask those who are able to please rise as John Montella sings our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. You may be seated. Good morning, Wilmot friends, family, and graduates. We are so glad to come together in person to celebrate you today. Last year at this time, graduation looked quite different. Our Wilmot family has grown stronger over this past year, overcoming challenge after challenge while facing this pandemic. We had our routines changed and our patience tested, but we per persisted and persevered. Our Panther community rallied together, and I thank each one of you for your role in that. Family and friends, although today is about your graduates, please know that it is also a recognition of you. As your child's name is called and they walk across the stage, please know that the recognition is yours as well. You are sending them off to their next adventures as strong, knowledgeable, independent individuals, knowing that everything you've done has prepared them to be successful to take on this challenge. Students, excuse me. Graduates, you walked in our doors four years ago as timid, shy freshmen, and today you leave us as responsible, resilient young adults prepared to continue the next steps of your journey. During your time at Wilmot, you have had your own specific experiences, whether they be related to friends, sports, activities, or your personal passions. These four years are just a small piece of the journey that will become your whole life. You have worked through 13 years of lessons, homework, tests, studying, virtual learning, and a pandemic to earn the right to graduate today. We challenge you to take all of the lessons that you've learned from Wilmot, from your family, from your experiences and use them simply as a starting point for the next steps in your journey, whatever that may be. When things get tough, and they will, 
Think back to your experiences and use them to guide you, and you will persevere. We at Wilmot have been honored to be a part of your journey. Thank you. Friends, peers, family, and Wilmot staff, I would like to start off by thanking each of you for being here. While this year has been filled with uncertainty, I am glad to be standing in person with all of you today. We are celebrating a lot of different people today, but something we all have in common is that we are all moving on next year, whether this summer or this fall, into adulthood. Some of us are going to college, some are going into the trades or the military, others are going directly into the workforce, and still others don't really know yet. Regardless of the path that you are currently on, the moment we exit this field with our diplomas today, it is the expectation that we go out and make our own way in the world. I'm sure I'm not the only person who has heard over and over these past few months that I have to be responsible and stay on the right path and so on. These days, it seems like every single person has a piece of advice about college. From my cousin telling me the best places in La Crosse to shop or eat, to my mother reminding me that school always comes first, the range of advice and reminders is a little overwhelming. I appreciate everything, but as I'm sure you can agree, it's quite a lot. In February, I was nominated for today's teen in the Kenosha News, and I had to fill out this questionnaire with my college plans and favorite teacher and so on. But as I was filling out the questionnaire, I came across a question that I couldn't answer right away. The question was, what is your most memorable high school memory? It seems like a simple question. The easy answer would be something along the lines of winning regionals in basketball or volleyball or going to sectionals in track. Something that I'm proud of from my high school experience that I'll remember forever. It seems easy enough, right? However, the more I thought about it, the more I realized it isn't as simple as it might seem on the surface. There were plenty of things that I could have said, but none of them seemed as impressive as they were in that particular moment. For example, when the basketball team won regionals this year, it was amazing, and it's something our entire team was proud of. But the next day, we were back in the gym, practicing just like every other day during the regular season. Of course, we were excited, but there was still so much more to chase. We still had the sectional semifinals to prepare for. So what exactly am I trying to say? No matter where you are, whether you're in a position of power or not, whether you're satisfied in your position or not, keep working and keep trying to get better and better. A big promotion in your future may be amazing, but you don't just stop working hard after earning that promotion. The process is just as rewarding as that end goal. Demand more. Don't settle. And be confident. Try to get a little bit better at something every day. After all, as Coach Busco always says, it's a beautiful day to get better. I am beyond honored to be graduating with each and every one of you. Congrats, guys. We made it.
Good morning. My name is Anna Carroll, and I would like to thank all of our guests for being with us graduates today. Sitting before you is a group of students I've shared Wilmot's hall 